It's like whenever I'm away and the food that I crave is my mom's food, my mom's food will bring me to my knees and it could just be something like this, an egg dish that has like two ingredients. Hi, my name is Susan Kim. I'm a contributing writer for Bon Appetit magazine. And today I will be showing you my version of the Korean egg omelet, Kena Mari. This is a really fun recipe. You can absolutely do this with mostly things that you have in your pantry or fridge. And you can find this recipe in the March issue of Bon Appetit. Keran Mari, or a rolled egg omelet, literally translates to that. Keran is egg, Mari is roll. This is a dish that you can make with all kinds of fillings. Today, we happen to be making it with Parmesan and toasted seaweed. We have here a nice chunk of Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm gonna use a vegetable peeler and I'm gonna start to just make some nice shavings out of this. I feel like arm with a vegetable peeler is a very bon appetit. Is it? Is it too restaurant-y? I don't know. I think it's cool, right? If you don't happen to have this like nice chunk of Parmesan in your fridge and you have some nubbins, like this is a perfect opportunity to chop it up, use your grater, use a microplane to use every part of the Parmesan. Then we're gonna go into the kim. That's the Korean word for dried seaweed. So it's kind of like, what do you have in your fridge? Let's make it happen. I always have kim on hand. It doesn't go bad. Today we're using five eggs to make this omelet. Five is kind of what's always worked for one, the, the pan that we're gonna use, which is about nine to 10 inch nonstick pan. A little bit of salt always. We're gonna add some white soy sauce. White soy sauce is lighter in color. It's also lighter in flavor. And this is midin, which is a sweet cooking wine. I'm gonna take this cute baby whisk, just breaking up the yolks. We're not trying to whip any air into it. We're just really combining all the ingredients. I mean, I love whisks, you know? <laughs> I feel like we're creating like a dating profile. You know, we have like, what, what cheese is in your fridge? What size whisks do you have? How many whisks do you have? I also say that for rubber spatulas. This is grapeseed oil, any neutral oil, canola, vegetable, that's fine. When it's ready is you're gonna look at, look for a nice sheen. It's shiny a little bit. That means the oil's getting hot. All right, let's start. There's gonna be three different layers. So we're dividing up this mixture into thirds and you're filling up enough to cover the pan. I love cooking eggs too, because I think this is like one of those things that makes you more and more intuitive as a cook. Right away, I know that the bottom of the pan is hotter because it's cooking faster. Be one with the pan, control the heat. You're swirling around so that the really runny mixture is getting over to the hotter side, if you will. The egg mixture is wet but not runny. It's pretty much set, but it's not completely cooked yet. We're gonna go in with a little bit of the Parmigiano, and we're gonna put down one sheet of the kim, the toasted seaweed. I like to roll from the bottom up, so we're gonna go ahead and roll up like this. Just press it down a little bit, and then we're gonna bring it down to the base where it all started. Started from the bottom now here. Okay, then let's go in with our second layer of eggs. Enough to cover the pan, but roughly we're dividing this into thirds. Swirling it around, little lacy edge parts you can just kind of prod to the center. Korean food was always a part of my life because I immigrated here when I was seven years old and I am lucky enough that my mom is an amazing home cook. It's like whenever I'm away and the food that I crave is my mom's food, my mom's food will bring me to my knees and it could just be something like this, an egg dish that has like two ingredients. All right, so this thing is also set, wet but not runny. I'm gonna go ahead and roll again. This is really like a nice yellow sheen, but if you get color, don't trip. We're not making a French omelet. A little color is fine. Let's do our final and third layer. This is the rest of your egg batch. Oh wait, I just realized I didn't do the seaweed for that first, the second one, did I? Okay, this is a great thing because at home, like the rule in my kitchen is like, there are no rules. You might not have as much. You might only do it, you know, for alternative layers. I mean, you really can't go wrong. Let's get the final layer of fillings on. Let's get that seaweed on, the kim. Boom, trusty rubber spat. Just kind of moving it around the edges. If you have a hole and you still have a little bit of wet mixture, you can just swirl around so that it covers the hole. If the egg has already kind of started to cook and formed, it's like right now, I tore it right there, that's okay. 
we're gonna go with it because ultimately this thing will be sliced and we won't really notice the hole. And we're gonna let it rest a few minutes. The resting is just really for any like residual heat, any steam, it's gonna use those final minutes to kind of tighten everything inside and cook everything. This is a really great panchan, and panchan is a Korean side dish. My favorite part of going to any Korean restaurant, it's like the stuff that they floor you with when you sit down. It's your kimchi, it's your egg dish like this. There's different pickles, maybe you get a little bit of the baby fish. And that's kind of how I grew up eating at home. It's called the papsang, which is like the set table. You can absolutely just slice it up and eat it with your other components, or just have it with rice. Or I guess if you're on that keto kick, you can just have this. Today we're gonna form the toshirak, which is basically bringing all those panchan elements into a box. You can definitely like eat this in front of your like Zoom meeting or whatever you're doing, but it also encourages you to like take it out. For me, that would be like sitting on a bench outside, going out to the fire escape, because everything is transportable. All right, so here we go. It's been sitting for a couple of minutes. It's still a little bit warm to touch. And I'm kind of doing like half inch slices. And you know, whatever tears you have, it's, it's gonna be okay. We have our layers of kim. We have our Parmesan, which some of it has melted and some of it is still in the shaving pieces. It's cooked, but it's still a little bit soft. We have this container. The first thing that's gonna go in is this rice. This is a mixture of short grain white rice, brown rice, barley, and what gives it this beautiful purple color is the black rice. I'm kind of into those color, it's like Lakers colors right now. It's a really exciting time, y'all, when a lot of people have kimchi in their fridge. This is white kimchi. This is seasoned with garlic and ginger, some pears, and then obviously the salt that makes it ferment. This is silken tofu. I love it to make soups with, but it's also really amazing raw. Chili oil, which yeah, make your own, but store-bought is great. Little scallions to top, little sesame seeds too, why not? Obviously like the chili oil goes into the rice, all of it combining, it's a good thing, it's a party. The other recipe that's in the March issue, quick vinegar pickles. We have some celery, we have some daikon, we have some radishes. I'm already getting excited at the colors and the textures that's going on here. It is now time for the keramari to get in there. You know, toshiraks to me are like little gifts, especially because there's like a lid component. Mm. I really love the combination of the dried seaweed and the Parmesan together. I'm getting like the nuttiness from both of those elements. Again, eggs and rice, really good together. These are the rice vinegar pickles. Super bright from the rice vinegar, really crunchy. Yeah, choose your own adventure on how you want to eat your toshirak. Both recipes, the egg omelet as well as the rice vinegar pickles are available in the March issue of the magazine. Give yourself a gift of the toshirak. The star is here, everybody. It's her debut, it's her first video. I want to learn, I want to learn from the best. So yeah, we talk. <laughs>